uh, this is Silas here. Uh, first, I would like to apologize for a long absence. I had severe health problems, so I had to deal with them. But uh, now I feel so much better, so it's time for another Arjuna layout. It's a little bit late, but uh, I couldn't miss opportunity to make Christmas theme Arjuna. Another Christmas layout is coming soon. So first I glue down some tissue paper with my gel medium. I don't need to be perfectly glued because I want to add some texture so I don't mind if there are some wrinkles. While I'm cutting the excess tissue paper you could see sneak peek to another future Arjuna layout. After this I just sewed the page and now it's time to color my background. I used PBO acrylic colors, Naples yellow, rose sienna, primary yellow and little bit of iridescence orange yellow. I also put name in description under the video. I'm using brush and baby wipe to spread colors. Uh, then I let it dry and and add a second layer which I accidentally didn't record, sorry for that. Now I'm adding third layer of colors and then finally uh, I'm adding a gold wash over the whole page. Now I am using stocking. I have drawn as a template which with a red and white uh, pattern paper. When I cut everything, I also add a white color for my stocking. I just cut it from white paper and I didn't record it that again, I'm sorry. Now it's time to add a texture to my background with modeling paste and my art is stencil. Uh, this stencil I believe is a brand uh, Crafters Workshop. I put everything I use in this video under the uh, video into description area. And here I adding another layer of color to my background. I didn't like how this uh, music tissue paper is so dominant, so I wanted to push it more to the background. And after this I also add a new gold layer to add shimmer to my background. Here uh, I am cutting out some circles from a plain white paper. Uh, they will be my future Christmas decorations. Uh, previously I have drawn this holy, so again I am using my sketch as a template. And after I cut it out I added a gesso layer, so it would be easier for me to color it later. I am using uh, two green shades to color my holy. Uh, it's cadmium green and phthalo cyanin emerald. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronounce it right. And uh, cadmium red for berries. Now I'm using the darker shade just to uh, make some border around the leaves.
now I am adding a dark edge uh, around my elements using a Distress Ink Vintage Photo. And I also add a dark edge to my page. Now I am adding a gel medium layer to my stocking uh, to prepare the surface for shading with pit artist pens. And I am using tape glue to stick my Christmas gold decorative uh, cloth to my circles. Now I am shading my stockings uh, with a red and brown pit artist pen. I am using my fingers and baby wipe to spread the color. And I'm using tape glue and also a little bit of gel medium to add white cotton wool to my stockings. Here I am adding more interest uh, and texture to my holy with my beige marker and then I seal it down with a uh, gel medium and while gel medium is still wet uh, I sprinkled some gold glitter to my holy decorating my cat. I forgot uh, to record how I made it, sorry about that, but I just draw some cat figure on paper and then color it black. And now I'm a little bit fighting with gold ribbon. And I am using gel medium to stick uh, my elements uh, to my page. Now I am adding a shading with brown pit uh, artist pen. Uh, it's a caput mortem, I believe. I mean, shade is caput mortem. <laughs> I also want to uh, add shading around my decorative elements, so I mark uh, their position with pencil, then edit shading 
and then glue them down. I am using uh, tape glue to glue them to my page. And now uh, I am adding a gold ribbon to my elements, as if they are hanging from the top. And here I am stamping a uh, Merry Christmas quote with black archival ink, which is permanent. Now I am stamping a uh, snowflake using watermark ink. I uh, Then I put uh, the red gold embossing powder and sweep the excess. I also blow out the excess embossing powder or use a brush. Then I used my heat gun to melt the embossing powder, but here's the big fail. I didn't realize that the heat gun doesn't go well with synthetic fabric I used for my decorations and the heat burned it down. This fail happened again when I burned the cotton wool and also gold ribbon. Uh, next time first embossing and then adding flammable materials. Lesson learned. Now you can see that I burned some cotton wool a little bit. Here I am adding more snowflakes. The embossing process is quite fun, so sometimes it's very easy to uh, uh, you can very easily overdo it, but Now I burned the gold lip ribbon. And here you can see that I made new decorations, the same process as before, and I also added a new gold ribbon and problem is fixed. And now I am adding some adhesive gems to my decorations. Now it's time to decorate my stockings a little bit more. I am using gold gel pen and adding some faux stitching. And I am also using gold marker and gold gel pen to add a gold border around my decorations. face with my white gel pen and why this is dry I put beige color on top to tune down the white and now I'm using my Heidi swap stencil and adding some stars with a modeling paste and this layout is finished uh, in the end of the video you can see some close-up photos of my project so don't forget to check them out Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoy this Christmas video and if you did please give me thumbs up and also subscribe so you won't miss my next Arjun video. And I would also love to hear your comments and thoughts or suggestions. And you can also follow me on Instagram uh, to see what projects I am currently working on. Thank you and see you next time. Bye!